डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल अर्निंग एंड लर्निंग माय टुडे टॉपिक इज प्राइवेट लेबल पीएल व्हाट इज पीएल व्हेनेवर वी सेल एनी ऑफ आवर प्रोडक्ट्स ऑन अमेजन वी कॉल देम पीएल एनीथिंग यू बाय ऑन अमेजन कैन बी जेनेरिक और ब्रांडेड व्हेनेवर वी बाय अ प्रोडक्ट ऑन अमेजन सो आई सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन given on the left side on the amazon page this makes it easier for us to buy the branded item any product we sell on amazon is our brand it is your property you will find many similar items on amazon but when you put your trademark or logo on it it will become your brand process There is a whole process of making a typical product to a brand. Whenever we launch a product on the Amazon, especially when we are doing private label, first of all, it has to get the brand registered. To be brand registered, we must first have a company. After that, we have to register the trademark in which market we want to sell. After the trademark is registered. we can apply it for brand registry on amazon amazon sees all of our paperwork and brand registers our product i have made a video on trademark and brand registry how and where to register both of them you can see them on my website and channel brand registry importance it is very important to register a brand in private label If you are not a brand registered so anyone can hijack your product or listing when you list any product on Amazon you put a lot of efforts into this by doing SEO you bought it to the first page and then you selling start but you suddenly find out that someone has hijacked your listing you cannot claim anything from Amazon but if you are not a brand registered but if you are brand registered so you will not have to face these things amazon provides many services to brand registry holders such as a plus content and ppc first of all uh, we must have a registered company and then apply for trademark uh, after that we will apply for brand registry for brand registry we require the following documentation it is very important for us to do all this process to avoid hijacking because if we don't all our hard working will be for naught and anyone will start selling our product by creating such a product for example if you have your product source for um china so from here you can not put their logo and sell it on amazon so if you are brand registered so no one will be able to copy it no one will be able to harm your listing product and sale there are also two methods of doing pl fbm and fba fbm fulfillment by merchant and fba stand for fulfillment by amazon we will discuss them in detail in upcoming videos but we try to get a little ideas of it here uh, first of all we uh, talk about fbm when we source the product from china then we will store it in our warehouse in the usa so when a customer order from us on amazon so it will be our responsibility to deliver it to the customer it is our responsibility to fulfill customer order and response to their reviews in fbm we manage a to z services we pack and deliver to customer ourselves but in fba in fba after sourcing from china we ship our product to amazon warehouse so whenever an order comes in our listing amazon manage it he pack our product and deliver it to our customer i suggest fba as best as compared to fpm i hope 
you have understood my topic very well if you if you have any question related to my topic please ask me in comment sections thanks for watching